Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and this is your Alexa Flash Briefing. Let's take a look at the latest coronavirus numbers. Nearly 10,000 people in Connecticut are confirmed to be carrying the virus. 380 people have died, and there are more than 1,400 people who are in the hospital right now. But here's some good news that we know. 41% of those who have been in the hospital with COVID-19 have already been released. Also, your kids will be home for at least six more weeks after the governor, governor announced that schools will be staying closed until May 20th. The same goes for bars and restaurants. The governor says that date could be extended depending on where the state stands in the battle against the coronavirus. Kids say they are ready to head back to class. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I actually do want to go back to the school. I miss my friends, I miss sports, and I actually miss most of my classes too. And some help for kids who are struggling with distance learning. A new shipment of 60,000 Chromebook computers should be here by the end of the month or early May. Trinity Health of New England is also one of four health systems around the country that will start testing blood plasma as a possible treatment for the coronavirus. Today, it hopes to start identifying patients who have recovered from the virus. Doctors are looking for patients who have fully recovered from COVID-19 and can donate blood. The plasma will be removed from the blood and given to sick patients. Trinity Health runs St. Francis Hospital in Hartford, which will be participating in that trial program. That's some exciting news, Scott. Absolutely. Keep the good news coming, Nicole. All right, I've got some pretty good news in the forecast. Today, it's going to be a windy and a chilly day today. Temperatures will only be topping out in the upper 40s and low 50s, so you're going to have to grab that coat. Also, grab an umbrella. You never know when one of these stray showers might make it into your neighborhood. There also might be a brief snow shower up in northern Connecticut, some snowflakes mixing in. Now, once we get to tonight, things will clear out. Overnight low of 33. So if you put those plants in, you want to protect them. We're going to get near the freezing mark Sunday morning. The Easter weekend looks good, Saturday and Sunday, and then rain heavy at times on Monday morning. And Monday afternoon, some gradual clearing. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's check if your early morning forecast. Have a great weekend, everyone. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.